Sneakers have become the soul of our expression decades after NBA legend Michael Jordan debuted his Air Jordan sneakers. Athletes are increasingly using footwear to express themselves. Tonight, Gebra Gedgis introduces us to a Kentucky artist who's keeping celebrities fresh and funky. A lot of people make fun of women for buying so many shoes, and I'm like, him. I've got twice as many shoes as my wife does, you know. Sometimes I'll get the shoe halfway done and be like, nah, this sucks. And then I'll strip it down and redo it. Every journey needs a first step. Like, I remember the days when I would go camp out for a Jordan, you know, overnight until Saturday morning. Years later, Billy Hobbs is finding himself camping in his basement. I had one pair I did. It took me 25 hours to do. Yeah, and I didn't get compensated <laughs> for those 25 hours. A basement turned studio exclusively for customizing shoes. Hobbs is an artist and founder of True Blue Customs. I was always into art, like art class, and I was like, I never really did much painting. It was always like drawing, pencil, and stuff like that. He started customizing sneakers for his son and friends. Had a few customers in like New York and Chicago that I was doing Air Force Ones for, and they were just like random themes, you know, and it was just like printable fabric, cut out, glued on the shoes, you know, kind of generic and uh, kind of horrific, actually. If I look back on them now, <laughs> they were pretty bad. But the effort kicked off a solid side hustle. <laughs> He took his work to social media to attract other sneakerheads, showing off his shoe game on Instagram. Tyler Ulis reached out and was like, hey, can you do a pair of shoes for me, like a pair of Jordans? And I'm like, oh yeah, that's awesome, you know, cool. But it was one pair that made him hit the ground running. All eyes on Kentucky that year. And, you know, he wore those and I was like, holy crap, what have I got myself into? In 2015, NBA player and former UK Wildcat Willie Colley Stein made rounds on the internet for his performance in the NCAA tournament. He dunked on a dude and like, like, nobody knows where the dude's at now. He just, he, like, he murdered him. All while wearing the sneakers Hobbs hands designed. The gold patent leather, whenever they were gaudy, bright. The soles, I dyed blue. Um, I put trill on the inside of one shoe and then uh, WCS on the other. A magical dunk that turned a sneaker sensation into a booming business. I think it was a Thursday night. I went to bed, had like three or 4,000 followers, you know, something kind of small. I woke up the next morning, my email inbox was flooded. I had like 10,000 followers. It just jumped up like because every sneaker blog picked them up. And at that point, I was like, this is real. Like, these people are crazy. You know, people really love this stuff. It was a craze that was hard to ignore. I seriously sat in this chair probably 80, 90 hours a week. Yeah, I love it. You know, and it's and you have to. So much so that Hobbs left his Pepsi plant job of 12 years to fashion full time. It's kind of funny looking back now because when I quit, a lot of people that I worked with are like, you're crazy. And then now it's like I'm I do work for some of them. You know, like some old bosses call me and say, hey, I want some shoes for my daughter. Since opening his downstairs studio in 2011, Hobbs has customized thousands of shoes for big names on and off the court and field. Justin Timberlake's got a pair of my shoes, like Paul McCartney. I've done Chuck Taylors for him. Adidas for Snoop when he came into town. Uh, Thomas Rhett, which was huge. From OKC's Hamadou Diallo to Major League Baseball pitcher Jerome Williams. And their agencies, they'll send me 20 pairs of cleats. OK, this is for Mother's Day, Father's Day, July 4th. When we visited Hobbs, he was working on a pair of Chicago-themed Jordans for Cincinnati Reds catcher Tucker Barnhart. Some shoes that take about an hour or two, while others need 18 of his attention. My favorite is when you say, Billy, I want this theme. Do your thing. That's the best. Because then I, I go in with an idea in my head and it just kind of evolves. And celebrities are not the only ones rocking his latest designs. A lot of them are like for kids, for people that are paying, you know, tribute to, you know, somebody in their family they've lost. In case you're wondering which pair is his favorite. So everybody tells me, ask me that, I always say my last pair. When we were there, it was what he personalized for Willie. I, mean, I would stay up at two o'clock in the morning every every game on a random Wednesday night to watch Kobe play. And I'd have to get up at six o'clock morning and go to work the next day. The same love and respect that Willie wanted to embody in his latest pair, sneakers dedicated to the Lakers legend Kobe Bryant. I just like doing it, you know, it's not, I don't really have a label for myself. My family, for one, is probably my main inspiration because this is why I do it. Jumping head first and landing on two feet. That kind of fueled my, my sneaker obsession. A risk that made a perfect fit. As far as like where it's gonna go, like I'm content with being in here in my studio and, you know, I don't know where it's going to take me from now. I mean, 
I, I don't think customization's going anywhere. I think it's just gonna get bigger and bigger. Senai Gabrigargas, WHES 11 News. To learn more about True Blue Customs, head to our website, whas11.com, or look for the story on our WHS 11 app. How cool is